Welcome back to the Jones Zone. There's a lot that's been going on in the world, but today I wanted to give my opinion on a new anti-Christian law Israel has proposed. But before I do that, I'm going to pull up an article by Even News and read it to make sure that I'm at least moderately informed on what's been going on with the Israeli government. So let's let's see here. Okay, it says here, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on Wednesday said he would prevent the passage of a proposal by a powerful ally in his governing coalition to punish Christian proselytizing with jail time. The proposal had raised an uproar with evangelical Christians, one of Israeli's strongest and most influential supporters in the United States. The bill was introduced in January by a pair of ultra-Orthodox Jewish lawmakers, including Moshe Gaffney, who heads the Parliament's Finance Committee. It says solicitizing someone to convert their faith should be punishable by one year in prison, and solicitation to convert a minor would be punishable with a two-year sentence. Recently, the attempts of missionary groups, mainly Christians, to solicit conversion of religion have increased, it said. The bill was never advanced, but it drew widespread attention in the American evangelical world this week. After all, Israel News... An evangelical news site reported on it. On Wednesday, Netanyahu announced on Twitter, we will not advance any law against the Christian community. Gaffney said he had introduced the bill as a procedural matter, as he has done in the past, and there will be no plans to advance it. Evangelical Christians, particularly in the United States, are among the strongest backers of Israel, viewing it as a fulfillment of biblical prophecy, with some seeing it as the harbinger of a second coming of Jesus Christ and the end of days. Israel has long welcomed evangelicals' political and financial support, and it has largely shrugged off concerns about any hidden religious agenda, but most Jews view any effort to convert them to Christianity as deeply offensive, a legacy of centuries of persecution and forced conversion at the hands of Christian rulers. In part, because of those sensitivities, evangelical Christians rarely target Jews. Joel Rosenberg, editor-in-chief of All Israel News, welcomed Netanyahu's announcement, which comes at a time of domestic turmoil in Israel over his plan to overhaul the country's legal system and rising tensions with the Biden administration over West Bank settlement activities. Netanyahu is a longtime and proven friend to the global Christian community, and his actions today amidst all the other issues on his plate is further proof, Rosenberg said. Okay, so here's my opinion on the matter. I'm not really shocked by any of this, and from what it seems, it does seem that Israel is acting in accordance with biblical prophecy. Uh, now, since the times of Christ, the ethnic Jews have turned their backs on their Messiah, Lord Jesus, Son of the Most High, and it's been nothing but hell for them, uh, where they've been scattered throughout the world, namely Africa and Europe, where they face one persecution after another, not to mention the Holocaust. Many of their people endured. And after all of this, they continue to go down this dark road. Now, if this law goes into effect, and it leads to an executive order, let's say that completely outlaws the name of Jesus, then this will just push them closer toward the great tribulation that comes next. And then they point out that part where they say Christian rulers have forced them to convert. All of which could have been avoided if they had accepted Christ to begin with. Guys, they didn't have to go through any of this stuff. When faced with invasion, all they needed to do was pray to the Lord God, Yahweh, to defend them. And God would have moved against their enemies just as he did with King Hezekiah and Ahab in their battles with the Syrians. But, see, they denied Christ, and many of them have turned to Jewish mysticism, you know, worshiping what, the Kabbalah, uh, where you know they try to see God as some kind of uh, number-generating consciousness rather than how he originally revealed himself as, I am that I am the Lord God. Come on now. Okay, now, what I would say to the ethnic uh, Jewish people is that, look, guys, you're trying to delve into the deeper mysteries of things, and the Lord isn't concerned about any of that. Uh, he's not concerned about any of this, this New Age stuff. He's concerned about you keeping his commandments and statutes and accepting Christ as your Lord and Savior, and once you do that, the Lord will move for you as he did in ancient times. He'll humble your enemies. 
your birth rates will skyrocket. Geniuses will be born, and Israel will once again be the light of the world, people. I really believe so. All right, I could rant about this all day long, but I'm just going to, you know, uh, shut this down for now. Uh, so, yeah, guys, I'm signing off. Stay blessed. Have a good day.